Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Joseph Benson and in today's video I will be showing you my home-built helicopter satellite control mechanisms. Um, this is a satellite control. Sorry, I'm using one hand to show you this and I'm also using another hand to show you uh, the cyclic I was be able to make. This is a cyclic and it's really working 100% and this is how it is. This is under the cyclic and I will show you how the cyclic looks from somewhere here and you can see how it is. You can see how the cyclic is from the top of it and the cyclic do have a guide from the airframe itself and left and right we're having a guide so we cannot uh we didn't over break okay and this is now the cyclic and this is how i was be able to construct it you can also do it on, at your own spare time and you can construct your own home build helicopter right from the comfort of your home so from bennett's the helicopter that is how the cyclic is and if you take a closer look from the very end um where is the cyclic is going to be connected to the uh swash plate you can see how uh the effect of the cyclic it is to the the swash plate connector which is the horn connector to the swash plate and for the swash plate we have the connector to the main rotor grip so you can see how beautiful it is and one important thing about this is all of this is being constructed from the comfort of home. Uh, I didn't import anything. I construct everything step by step using the spare material I can be able to get at my own spare space in my house. So this is much about this cyclic. And it was so beautiful and it's easy the way I was able to construct. Everything is being uh, constructed step by step. Don't mind this kind of uh, painting. It's done by my son. And to be honest with you, everything is done the way I want it to be. And this is the engine, oh, sorry, this is the seat mount, okay? And the seat mount is quite different because I perforated it a little bit stretch so that I can be able to adjust uh, the seat either front or back so that the seat can adjust. And again, I want to show you my collective stick mechanisms, the control mechanism of the collective stick and its mechanism so you can see here. We're having the total, even though we did not yet uh, done much about it. So you can see the total lever. This is the total control lever. And to be honest with you, I was be able to do this step by step from the comfort of my home, and everything is very, very unique and different. Okay. So you can see here now. Um, if I pull this collective, let me pull it like this. If I pull this collective up, and it's also of effect to uh, the collective stick all together because this is uh, collective, okay? It has effect to the cyclic as well. So it pull it all together with the cyclic. So if I if I can go down, then try and pull the collective. Sorry, I'm using one hand to record this video and the other hand to pull the collective. So so you can see now, collective up and down. Uh, Again, let me show you like this. This is collective up. This is collective down. This is collective up. And this is collective down. This is collective up. And this is collective down. So, this is how easy it is, okay? This is how easy it is. It makes it so, so easy to pull and bring down like that that is it guys so i thought i should show you guys today and i hope this video also changed the way you um give you some insight about your own personal construction and again i i noticed that the collective is not pulling the way it is just hold on let me check okay uh, it was fully adjusted now so let's go again because i noticed the collective is not full travel free and let's do it again this is collective up yes that's it and this is collective down this is collective up this is collective down this is collective up and this is collective down so that's it you can try and see uh how this is how i did my construction locally and you can also do yours and this is where the total the total cable will be connected to the carburetor or injector so this is how everything should look like and you can see this is the hanger of the cyclic this is a cyclic oh, sorry collective stick hanger and this is the other hanger 
at the ends. This is this one over here, the creative hangar. So I'm just giving you a kind of quick walk around about this ultra light and how you can easily construct your own. Uh, this is another one. This is now a. Uh, this is the cyclic the the control pedals. This is the leg control pedals, left and right. So you can see how this one is. This is quite beautiful. And if I can if I can go low. Why pulling the pedals? You can see that it have a kind of nice effect on it. Also, you can see it. You can see it from below. All these are home built, so I'm trying my best to make sure I can be able to get one or two things to spray this uh, construction so that it can be a kind of uh, corrosive free. Okay, so this is a collective. Sorry, which is the pedals that's controlling the tail rotor. Okay. So this is how it is. I I hope uh, this video also change uh, the way you think about this. And I want to show you guys how this one is. And don't do not forget it's running on four cylinder um, on the Civic engine, one point five liter engine. And the weight of this engine so far is around ninety five. Uh, uh, kind of it's kind of ninety five kg or so. Uh, that's it. It's, it's not up to hundred kg. 95 kg in weight and that is it so thank you so much make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on that notification icon so if i have a new video you will be notified i thought i should do this video and show you this today thank you so much i'll see you next video bye bye